Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, another Ferlici Friday. I was saying a prayer, like, okay, as I hit like go live, I'm like, please, please just don't let us have any troubles. Thank you guys for your patience and understanding last Friday. I don't know what the heck was going on, but I'm just so very like, I'm praying that like nothing crazy happens today, that we just have a great normal Facebook Live. It's funny because I was kind of like complaining about it to some friends last weekend and one of them was like well how many times do you have those problems and like it kind of puts it in perspective that really I don't have too many problems um, with Facebook live so I am grateful that generally every week we go live and we get this done and there aren't any glitches so um, yeah but sorry about last Friday and hopefully that doesn't happen again for a really long time so hello Philomena hello Ashley thanks guys for popping on and hanging out with me today we have so much good stuff to share with you guys I have been like super excited to share some new stuff with you and like I just couldn't do it because you couldn't order it until now well almost right so next week starting on Tuesday I have to make sure I have my I don't know why I'm like having a hard time with the dates but I gotta look at my catalog just to make sure <clears throat> so our new annual catalog right the 2020 20 2022-23 annual catalog will be live and I'm looking like in tiny print it says on May 3rd so let's see Saturday's the 30th so first second third so Sunday Monday yes so Tuesday May 3rd is when we can start ordering out of this new catalog so we are gonna feature actually today we're gonna play with the new in colors okay so I've got like my full packages of cardstock here because they have the names on them also so we are gonna be playing with the in colors we have this one is Orchid Oasis and then we have um, Tahitian Tide I love that the name of it it's funny the color is um, maybe a little bit brighter like I love blues but um, a little more turquoisey than it, it works well with the colors though right so but I love the name it's so funny how um, the names are always so cute how about this one parakeet party this fun green right then we have the sweet sorbet and last but not least the starry sky so we've got these beautiful set of ink colors that we're gonna play with we're also gonna play with a new stamp set called happiness abounds We've got some great sentiments, and I always love the mixed font when they do this, like with the, so they've kind of got capitals, um, block letter, and then the cursive writing. So this one says, sending many thanks for all you do. And then I'm just gonna go down the line here. We've got congratulations, and you are wonderful in every way. Then we have wishing you all the happiness you can imagine, friend, best wishes and happy birthday and then beautiful imagery this is part of a suite i'm not even going to talk much about the suite because i didn't actually um use any of the any of the other products in the suite but i just love this stamp set mainly for the sentiments is what you're going to see that we're going to use um, this stamp set for and philomena thank you for sharing the video i always appreciate that um so yeah fun new stuff to play with i moved my notes can't even see what's going on yet <clears throat> In the meantime, though, you still have, um, well, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We have four days left to order any of the retiring product out of our current annual catalog. I've got my whole list here because what's kind of fun is this far column over here on the right is everything that is discounted. Some things are discounted up to 20% off, so you can still take advantage of great savings for the next four days um, with the last chance products in the current annual catalog. So keep that in mind. You've just got a little bit more time to be able to order things out of the catalog, including the in colors I know a bunch of that stuff has already sold out a bunch of stamp sets have already sold out but you got a little bit of time left so don't miss out on those last minute things that you need um, from the current annual catalog because once they're gone they're gone and they're hard to find once they're gone um, you know eBay and that sort of thing but that, there's a lot of searching that you have to do on there so Bonnie hello welcome thanks for joining us um, <clears throat> so I know I talked about it last week but I want to just kind of remind everybody so I can put my first big order in and so can you. We've been able, as demonstrators, we've been able to pre-order things. So we were able to pre-order the in colors and kind of a select group of products. Hey, Carolyn, hello, thanks for joining us. Um, but starting on next Tuesday, May 3rd, 
everyone can order anything that they want. I haven't seen, there's not been anything posted that says um, things are not going to be available. That, you know, sometimes things sell really quickly, so they might go into like a, you know, an unorderable status if there's something that's like the super hot item. Um, but with that being said, as of right now, I am planning to put my first order in for the designer series paper share. And I know I've mentioned it, but I just want to make sure because I've got, I've had a, a bunch of people sign up and I'd love for you to take advantage of this awesome way to basically get a sample of all of our designer series papers. So we have, I'm going to count again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 different packs of paper, designer series paper in our current annual catalog. I don't have too many of them. Um, I would love to be able to show you those. Once I get uh, my first paper share, uh, I should have like an extra pack, hopefully, um, so that I can show you guys everything that will come in that designer series paper share. But 12 different packs of paper, plus you get a sample of the new host designer series paper. It's called Design a Day Daydream. Um, you also, what, do you, what else do you need to know? I'm gonna put that first order in on Tuesday, May 3rd. So if you are interested, I'm gonna include the link. I always do this like above this Facebook Live video after I get it posted this afternoon. Um, I'll have a link right there for you to click on it and you can um, pay through PayPal. If you're interested, you can get yourself signed right up for the Designer Series Paper Share. You get, if I didn't say this before, you get a quarter of a pack of all 12 of the Designer Series papers in our new annual catalog, plus you get that sample of the host Designer Series paper. It's $44 for the Designer Series paper share. If you need it shipped to you, I ship it priority mail, so it's an additional $10 um, shipping for the Designer Series paper share. Hey, Nikki, hello. Just talking about the Designer Series paper share if you're interested. Um, I keep saying it's a great way to get kind of a sample of all of our paper. And then, and, and I know, like I said before, I love getting all of this paper too, and cutting it and going through it all, packaging it up, getting it out to you guys, because then I get to see it all too. And then I know which ones I'm going to want to buy many packs of too. So keep that in mind. Um, designer Series Paper Share. I'm going to keep it open through the whole month of May. Um, so each time I get a group of four people. Hey, Bonnie, thank you for sharing too. I appreciate that. Um, like I said, each time we get a group of four people, I'll put another order in. Um, but like I said, the first order is going to go in on May 3rd. So as many people as I have, I'm going to get those orders um, put in and then I'll get it shipped out to you as soon as I get it. So hello, Miss Deb. How are you? Thanks for joining us as well. So the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going, I have started an in-color club. Um, this is a fun thing. It runs for five months because we have five different colors. So each month you get one color, everything in that color. Thanks for sharing the video, Deb. Um, so for example, I kind of have um, everything here in front of me, I think. Let me make sure. So you would get one month, you may get Orchid Oasis. So you get a full pack of the Orchid Oasis cardstock. You would get the Orchid Oasis ink pad, you would get the Orchid Oasis ink refill, you would get the Orchid Oasis, the woven metallic, did I show you guys this last time? This is a fun um, glittery woven metallic ribbon, a full bolt of that, got to keep my finger on here, you would get the Orchid Oasis stamp and write marker, you would get the Orchid Oasis stamp and blends, you would get a, <laughs> I don't even have, um, this is what I have left of my designer series paper for the new in colors, but you would get all of the Orchid Oasis prints of designer series paper. And then you would also get a full bolt of the Orchid Oasis twine. So you can see how much awesome stuff you would get. When I flip the camera down, I'll show you guys again, just so you kind of get an idea of everything that you get each month in your in color club order then one month you are the host of the in color club you will get a full package these are what are these called the in color matte decorative dots so there are they look like those candies right like those old-fashioned candies um but you would get a full package this this package of the in color matte decorative dots and then you also get to pick 20 dollars in free stuff whatever you want so first order We'll go in on May 3rd. Um, let's see. Oh, cost. 
It's $56 per month for those five months. You can pay via cash, check, credit card, PayPal, whatever works for you. Uh, yes, Nikki, she's saying, I'm loving all the new ink colors, all of them. Usually there's one I'm not excited about, but not this time. That's awesome. I know, and I think um, they're just like so fun and bright. Like they look like um, sherbet or sorbet colors or something, I think too. Um, what is that one called? Sweet sorbet. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of that. But yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? I think we're going to have lots and lots of fun, especially like summertime. They're just great summertime colors too. And then I'm sure they're going to be able to pull these into really nifty ways to make them work um, like for Halloween and holiday, Thanksgiving time as well. It'll be interesting to see how those... Um, come about, you know, how they incorporate them in those products too. So, okay, but yeah, back to In Color Club. I'm gonna put the first order in on Tuesday. If you're interested, I will include the link to sign up, um, get your first payment in so that you can participate in the In Color Club. I'll put that first order in on Tuesday, $56 for five months, one month you're the host, $20 in free stuff, and then those cute little dots also. So, okay. Um, all right, I gotta scoot some stuff out of the way. I'm trying to avoid craft or math on the table. I'm gonna put it over on my chairs so I don't have to look at quite so much. It gets confusing for me otherwise. Um, let's see what else we wanna talk about. We did, we talked about that. Um, yes, oh, the other thing that I have seen posted is our new magnetic cutting plate will be available to order next Tuesday, May 3rd with our new annual catalog. I know we've been kind of without a magnetic cutting plate for a little while. Hopefully you had maybe an older one that you've been able to use, but if you don't have one, you're gonna want to um, order that because it's finally available again with this new catalog. Um, I think they're still working, they said on the mini, the, the mini cut and emboss machine um, that magnetic plate but that hopefully will be coming soon too okay um i think we're ready let's go ahead and do our first drawing for the pebbles enamel shapes these super cute little shapes right your name is in the drawing if you shared the last facebook live video that we did which was wonky i know you probably like hesitated to share because it was like a two-parter and one was sideways and we're gonna really pray that that that's the other thing we got to make sure it doesn't like it's not sideways, but I think it was because there was this weird message. And if I clicked on the like, okay, then it would like cut me off. So I think it, it didn't like rotate the camera is what happened. Um, there was no, unless I did like a third video, that was the only way. I don't know, that was gonna, no, it wasn't ever gonna work. I don't think it had to be sideways as far as I could tell. So sorry about that, but we're gonna pray that that doesn't happen this week. Anyway, so back to that. Share the Facebook Live video. Your name is in um, the drawing for this. If you are new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, if you do that, the link is above the Facebook Live video after I get it posted as well. And then the third, the new way, is if you share my class to go. Um, that post, if you share that post, then your name is in the drawing also for the pebbles enamel shapes. So I've got lots of names in my little basket here. We're gonna toss them around and we'll find one lucky winner. Okay, I always have to separate them. Whenever I feel like a clump of them, I gotta, okay. So here we go. Okay, one in my hand, one in my hand. Yes, I thought there were two, but only one, okay. Uh, Miss Susan Pacheco. All right, congratulations, Susan. I will get those little pebbles enamel shapes mailed out to you. Hi, Sharon. Hello, welcome. Okay, I'll get those sent out to you, Susan. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. So next, let me show you guys. So on our next K, hello. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining. We are going to give away the pastel pearls. These are such beautiful pearls. You can't even see their pink ones, like, underneath that little label there, too. So they've got the pretty purples and the gray and then some pink ones underneath there, too. So these are what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, right? Share this video right here. It's going to be a good one today. Um, what else? Sign up for my email list or share the class to go um, post that I did. I think I posted it maybe yesterday. Um, yes, in North Carolina. Hello, Miss Kay. Hopefully it's beautiful. It's beautiful today here in Michigan, finally. Um, not warm yet, but we're getting there. So maybe May we'll get, we'll get some like a little bit warmer days. We're praying anyway, right? Um, oh, okay. I know what I want to show you guys is this cute little, so I made this little club member treat for all of my club members this month. Um, so we, I used this cute little box, super duper simple, wrapped it with some of the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper, the fun little hey friend with the exclamation, exclamation point. 
Um, this is the bow punch is what I used on that little spriggy guy right there. The oval punch right there. And then I filled it with some um, little Reese's peanut butter cups. Love those things, right? Can't tell you how many of those got eaten and didn't make it into the little tree bags. Uh, and then the um, gold, this is um, the fine art ribbon. So I will tell you guys a couple things. The fine art ribbon is retiring. Um, this paper, not quite yet, but it will at the end of June. And then this is the in symmetry stamp set. Actually, don't even love that because it already sold out. Um, I did do a blog post on this. So if you want to know, I mean, super simple little box. And then just get yourself some little cello bags and fill them with whatever little treat. Tie a pretty ribbon. Um, you can, um, from Windy Maine. Hi, Tracy. Oh, that's, I know. We, we can't have like sun and not wind right now, I guess. I don't know, spring. Although the one good thing about the wind, right, is all the wind rain and wet that we've had it's hopefully kind of helping dry some of that out so but yeah okay so back to this treat you could make these treats for like a wedding shower a baby shower birthday party whatever you need a little treat for so simple and easy um, the directions are right on my blog so you can check that out at gathering ink with a k gathering inspiration.com um, but yeah, they're just so fun and simple and easy. Hello, Teresa. Thanks for joining us. Um, so if you need a little quick um, treat box idea, I think this one is the perfect one. And I love kind of wrapping that paper around there too. Again, the paper kind of just sets it for whatever tone you need it for, right? Whatever occasion. Okay. So just fun little love spoiling my club members. If you guys are interested, um, I'll tell you I have... <clears throat> The Simple Beautiful card class is also a club. My scrapbook class is also a club. Those are local. And then the third one is my class to go. That can be a club also. So if you're long distance, you can still participate and be a club member. Get little cute treats from me. You also get free host product, um, host benefits, one month that you are the host of any of those clubs. Hello, Anna. Glad you can join the live again as well. It's always fun seeing the names popping up. Thank you guys all. I appreciate too your, um, I know I have not, um, and I just, I think I should probably say that too, that I just haven't been able to do my Facebook lives as consistently over the last little while as I used to be able to. Um, I know I've kind of mentioned my um, job and my responsibilities have changed and I've had to be working more at my other job which has not allowed me as much time to be able to do my Stampin' Up! business. So one of those things that I've had to kind of cut back a little bit on are my Facebook Lives because it's funny how you know you think I'm just on here for an hour um, but there's like enough prep that goes into this um, that I was really like stressing out about trying to do it every single week. So I finally said okay I'm not gonna stress myself out quite so much, um, so I'm doing them as often as I possibly can. And I appreciate you guys um, kind of hanging in there with me. The one thing I'll tell you is I always try to post, so Thursday night, I'll post whether I'm gonna be live on Friday or not. I try to be really good, really religious with that post. So if you're ever wondering, is she gonna be live? Um, check our group out right here Thursday night and there'll be a post on there usually with some kind of Facebook logo that says whether I'm gonna be live today or not. So just wanted you guys to kind of know that but thank you i appreciate you hanging in there with me and being with me every friday that i can be here with you guys too so thank you hello brenda out in the sunny warm uh i was gonna say florida but you're in arizona so yeah um as i'm like rubbing my hands together because i'm cold the heat i cannot have the heat cranked on anymore like that's just ridiculous to have the heat at the end of april isn't it so i'm i'm not doing it i won't let my heat kick on anymore <laughs> i'm like just freezing out freezing myself out um okay so let's see we're gonna do our next drawing just want to do a quick reminder if you are new especially if you're new to facebook live um if you put an online order in through me use the host code that is always on my blog at gatheringexpiration.com you, if you um, place at least a $30 order, use the host code. You get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which are these super fun um, little birthday card or birthday invitation kind of thing. This could be a birthday card too. You could do, you could do like a happy birthday sentiment on there and then this just kind of slides. Oops, there we go. We got the little hooray there. Um, and then this one is also a little slider birthday card too, right? with this one that I did happy birthday on the inside there. So you automatically get these two projects as a thank you from me if you put an online order in. 
You also get your name in the drawing. We're gonna do this in just a sec for the Kite Delight Super Fun Springy Stamp Set, right? Uh, yes, you ordered that set because, thank you, I'm so glad, Brenda, that's awesome. And all the directions too, I should tell you. So after I demonstrated these, you guys hopefully know this, right? On my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I have the pictures, I have all the products that I used, the item codes, and um, the measurements on there too. Um, so you guys know exactly what you need to recreate these cards, order and recreate them. So if you do that, use the host code, right? You get these for free. Your name's in the drawing with at least a $30 order for that Kite Delight stamp set. And then you also get to pick, if you order over $50, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the free embellishment for April are the Iridescent Rhinestone Jewels, or you can pick the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Either one of these you can get for free with your $50 order. So hello, Amy. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Okay. So names are in the drawing. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to draw now for the Kite Delight stamp set. And thank you guys for your orders. I know I say this um, a lot, but this is what helps me continue to basically get paid and do my Facebook lives. It's how I kind of keep my business going. So I truly appreciate your orders. So thank you for that. Um, okay. So here we go. Kite Delight stamp set. The lucky winner of this set is, all right, do I have one in my hand? One name in my hand, Miss Carolyn Lawrence. All right, congratulations, Carolyn. You are the winner of the Kite Delight stamp set. So I will put this out on the porch for you, Miss Carolyn, and you can pick that up at your convenience. Okay, get rid of those. So I have some fun new product to share with you guys. Um, on our next Facebook Live, when we do our drawing, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you are going to receive the T Boutique Designer Series paper. You guys are very sweet. I always love, you're so nice to congratulate everybody. Um, okay, so I have to pull this out. You guys have to see. You may have seen this is one of the things that we can pre-order, um, but we're gonna just take a peek at this paper because I just opened it before this Facebook Live started. I haven't even played with this yet, so I'm very curious. So we're gonna kind of flip and see so those cute little teacups there and then we've got some polka dots I'm like I really have to look at this let's talk about the colors that are in here we have crumb cake crushed curry fresh freesia garden green orchid oasis parakeet party petal pink starry sky sweet sorbet and tahitian tide so it does have all five of the in colors and then um, a bunch of other colors too so this one looks like the purples maybe like that was it highland heather that print is so small i'm like eh, can like barely did i say that though i thought i said highland heather now i'm reading oh it's fresh freesia maybe okay here we go but look here's another one some more pretty little teacups and then, so it looks like they're like patterned on one side and then like a little bit more simple. Ooh, these are lemons. These are really pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm gonna have some fun with that one. I love that. And then here's the back side of that one. Okay. All right. And then just another pretty floral. I think I have that. I kind of have it like upside down. There's that one. It's just like a more subtle. And then that looks like maybe was there petal pink in there too? Ooh, these are so pretty. I'm like just laying them out here. Okay, so then some more teacups. And then this one that looks like, oh, I like that. That reminds me of some of that, um, was it the um, oh, designer series paper, like celebration paper with the strawberry sweet. Okay, there's another one, very pretty. And then look at these stripes, I love those too. Oh my gosh, this paper is gonna be really, really, really fun. Okay, so here's another. That one's pretty similar. And then there's the backside kind of with a green stripe on that one. Okay, we're gonna just keep look, check these out. Okay, so there's that pretty floral there. And then oh, that one looks similar. Oh, I see it's a different, pa it's a same pattern, but it was in the fresh freesia before. Okay, all right, and we got some more teacups there. And then, ooh, that's like a funky pattern on that one there too, okay and more pretty floral i love in the back sides too because in some cases i'm not a I, I i like tea i don't really drink that much tea so these are um super cute fun and bright right but then if you want something more simple you've got the back side there too and then last one some more pretty flowers and then that pretty pattern okay so you guys have to see i'm gonna like 
I have to show you guys all. I know, I'm just like eating this up, right? Okay, so there is one side of the designer series paper, and then there is the other side of the designer series paper. So I, I'm like loving, a lot of times, usually I like one side a lot more than the other, um, and I generally love all the patterns, but I love these more like subtle patterns also. So beautiful pack of paper. You guys are gonna need this paper. I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta order another one because I ordered this for myself to use, and then I'm like, I think I'm gonna give it away on Facebook Live. Oops. So. Oh, okay, that bending over is really hard, isn't it? You, it's like, once you're over 50, you have to make that weird noise when you bend over, I think. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of embarrassing. Um, anyway, okay, so designer series paper. This is what we're gonna give away, the T Boutique designer series paper. This is also one of the things that you can get in the designer series paper share too. You can get a quarter of a pack of this paper. This is one of the 12 new papers in our annual catalog. Okay, so free, well, your name goes in the drawing with a $30 order and I'm gonna give you new host codes for May also. I'll give you those in just a second then I'll get them posted on my blog too. Okay, so are we ready? I think we are ready to flip the camera down. Okay. I want to, I wanted to show you guys like everything that comes that you get in your In Color Club. So I'm trying to kind of um, lay this out so you guys can see, cause you get a lot of great stuff. Lori, hello, welcome. Okay, I think I can do that now, right? Okay, so let's, we're gonna just pray that like it's not sideways. I think it should be fine, but now I'm like freaked out. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air. We're gonna flip the camera down and we're gonna do some stamping. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> okay, we got that. Sorry, I gotta fix my mount just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. Okay, tell me, I don't think we're sideways. I couldn't tell actually the last time until you guys were commenting about it. So somebody tell me if we're like, we're not sideways today, hopefully. But this is everything you get in the In Color Club. So again, Starry Sky, one month might be your color. So you get the cardstock, the ink pad, the ink refill, the marker, the blends, the ribbon, the designer series paper. You're gonna get full sheets, I promise, and the twine. Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad that's working. Yes, beautiful color, isn't it? Uh, Orchid, did I say Starry Sky? This is Orchid Oasis. Plus, remember, you get $20 in free product the month you're the host, and you're gonna get these in color matte decorative dots too. So again, I will include the link, um, and I've been emailing and uh, posting on my blog about it too. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the In Color Club. Five months, um, I think, what did I say? Was it $56? I'm trying to find my, I don't know <laughs> where my sheet is now. Pretty sure it's $56 for um, the In Color Club each month. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna move that right out of the way. Do, do, do. Okay, sorry, stuff's like rolling around. Um, oh, okay, I wanna show you guys my scrapbook pages too. We had scrapbook class earlier this week, and I can't remember whether I showed you guys these um, from last month or not. So maybe I did, because we make three pages. So we made one of these ladybug pages last month, and then we made the other coordinating, actually I think it's gonna go that way, made the other coordinating page this month. So these are kind of fun. This, um, I should tell you too, the demo design dream team PDF tutorial that you can get free with your $50 order just through the end of April. So just through tomorrow, actually, um, I, I was inspired by some pages that one of our demonstrators in that group made based off of this ladybug suite or ladybug stamp set and punch. Um, I changed it up a little bit, um, but this was the basic kind of basic layout that she used. So I was very thankful um, that she gave me the inspiration right from our own Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So those are the two pages right there. Like I said, we made this one last month and then this one this month, because we always make three pages. So we made like a half a page spread. And then we made this two page spread as well. This one features the Heart and Home Designer Series paper, the doilies. I think this is from the, um, oh, the Waves, Waves of Inspiration stamp set. Um, and then this is some of, those are all the dies, if you guys can see. I'm trying to make sure I can get everything in. Um, the dies from that stamp set that I can't even remember right now. I think it's part of the same suite. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the In Good Taste Designer Series paper that is retiring. Um, I did do a blog post um, on these, or I'm going to if I didn't already. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed these pages. Um, and then some of those little in color, or not, um, those are the um, neutral, like neutral matte decorative dots. So these were just simple, simple pages, but I love, this is more of that, um, um, the designer series paper, what am I calling it? In good taste that is retiring. No, actually this is from, <gasps> no, you know what? Neither one is. I was thinking it was because this, um, background looks like the in good taste, but this is actually the heart and home designer series paper. I think I said that in the beginning too. This is beautiful paper also. I love that pattern too. So anyway, scrapbook pages, kind of fun. Okay, 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 I think we're good. One other quick reminder. Hey, sports fan class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP. I'm not gonna go through all the details. I've included the link um, in, uh, let's see, above this Facebook Live video. I'll do that. I've posted on my blog, I've emailed, I posted on Facebook. So you guys hopefully know about this class to go. We make these four cards. I'll show you the cards real quick. Super duper cute, fun cards, right? Kind of a baseball, um, sports theme, if you will. Um, but today is the last day to RSVP for the Hey Sports Fan Class to go. If you need more details, let me know. I would love um, to get you signed up for this class to go. So Lori, <laughs> that's so funny. It says Lori wants to be in your Facebook Live video. It's so I think people hit buttons like on accident and don't even realize. So I'm sure Lori doesn't really want me to push that button that says, sure, Lori, you can be on my Facebook Live too, because <laughs> she might be in her PJs. You never know. Her hair's pulled up, something funny, crazy like that right okay um, ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. let's see let's see what are we doing now okay i want to show you host code new host code for may we're starting it right now the pap for rdzm this is the host code that you're going to want to use when you put your order in uh to potentially win that t boutique designer series paper okay we are i think ready i gotta find my grid paper somewhere can you guys tell I'm a little bit excited about, um, about what our projects and our new in colors and all the fun we're going to have. And I'm just so happy that we're not sideways. <laughs> it's, it's the little thing some days, ladies. Okay. Um, let's do this. Okay, here we go. I have lots of notes to myself. Make extra cards for something. I can't remember what now. Okay, so here is an example of all of our new ink colors and the designer series paper. What's funny is I went to like um, make these. I knew I thought, okay, um, what can I show you guys um, that's that I want? Because I want you guys to sign up for the ink color club, right? So this is kind of encouraging you because you just love all of these ink colors, right? Um, and show you some new stuff without overwhelming you because you still can't order any of this new stuff for a few more days anyway. But I loved kind of, um, well, I guess what I was starting to say was I had these little strips of paper left over from my make and take. So when I cut, I'll show you guys again, these were the in color cards that we made at our team meeting. Ooh, yes, oh, yes, Sharon. Okay, good, I'm glad, I'm so glad you are saying this. I can't read all of it, but Sharon is posting. Thank you for doing this too, Sharon. Um, Sharon and Jenny, a couple of our Inkspired Stampers, are doing a craft show at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is like Sharon saying, she hooked me up, um, got me set up with being able to do classes at her church. Um, they are doing a craft fair tomorrow on Saturday, April 30th. I think it's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if you live in the Alma, like in Michigan anywhere, go on a road trip, come see Sharon and Jenny and check out. They've been working on tons and tons of cute little projects. They're super crafty and they love to make cute little things. So they're all going to be, uh, they're going to be selling lots of fun little treat gift ideas, cars, lots and lots of different fun stuff um, tomorrow at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So thank you, Sharon. I'm glad that you mentioned that. And I'm happy to help get the word out and hopefully lots of people come and support you guys. Yeah. Okay. So back to what I was saying was I had cut for these cards for our team meeting and then I had these little strips of paper left over. And so I was like, okay, this is, I, all of a sudden I'm like, this is what we're going to do. Cause I love being able to show all of our um, colors and the designer series paper. This is my favorite pattern too. This kind of plaid. I'm definitely a plaid lover, a plaid girl. Um, so I thought this was very fun um, to show all of these colors. 
um, that way and then the designer series paper too. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Here we go, we are going to make our project. I decided though that I wanted to, I'm like, okay, we did this one in Orchid Oasis. So this time I wanna do a card base in the parakeet party. You're welcome, Sharon. Okay, right. so here we go. I did, oh, okay, let me tell you about dimensions and things, right? Okay, so for example, you can make this using either an Orchid Oasis. You can use any of the colors, really, any of our in colors. Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party. Pretend this is a full sheet of cardstock along, oops, along the 11 inch side, we're gonna cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Um, I, uh, Amy, I have not demoed any cards with the kite stamp set. Um, I think what I a lot of times do when I need inspiration is I will go to Pinterest and I will type in, I always type in Stampin' Up first, and then I would type in Kite Delight. So go to Pinterest in the little looking glass, type in Stampin' Up Kite Delight, and anyone that has, um, made a project and tagged it with the Kite Delight name, you'll see ideas on there. So I bet they're probably, look at how these would be super cute. Like I could see some fun with these new ink colors too. These fun, oh my gosh, you could like color. Oh, so fun. You could do a lot of coloring in these, right? You could stamp it in one color and color it in others. Yeah, you could have a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do, Amy, because I don't have any... Um, examples i haven't done i haven't used that stamp set myself yet i bought it and then i gave it away that's how that happens sometimes okay so i think i told you about the measurement well card base right on the inside we have a basic white piece that is measuring are we in view here uh four inches by five and a quarter inches okay and then these little strips of designer series paper are all one inch by three and three quarter inches okay so I also have a little piece of basic white cardstock and then the parakeet party cardstock that we're gonna do our stamping and die cutting. We also used, I just bought, now these have been around for a little while and I had not gotten them yet. So I was super excited. These are the beautiful shapes dies. So we are gonna use these dies on this card, okay? So, uh, hello Cheryl, how are you? So glad you can join us. Okay, so we're gonna use this largest. So we've got some, are these hexagons? I think we're gonna use that largest hexagon right there. And then we've got this little swirly guy. We're gonna use that one for our sentiment right there. But you can see you've got some other little hexagons, some diamonds, um, more hexagons. Those look like half of hexagons. And then we've got some circles. There's this one that has like a swirly kind of print on it. And then you've got three more circles as if we don't have enough circles, right? To do our die cutting with. So great set of dies. I just knew, um, like I love the hexagon especially. So I'm like, okay, I really have to have the stamp set. All right, so we are going to stamp. We've got these little guys right here. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. We're gonna stamp that in our Parakeet Party ink. Okay, so you guys know, right? Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. You don't have to press too hard because you don't need ink all around your clear block, right? There's really no reason. And I like to press pretty firmly there. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, that mixed font, like with kind of those capital blocky letters and then the happiness and the really perfectly penned, um, uh, cursive writing that, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so then we're also gonna stamp, okay, this was, I showed you guys this earlier, but this is the stamp set that we're using, the Happiness Abounds. It's not backwards anymore, right? And I thought, look at that sweet little bouquet. That's super cute, and that one is also, and then these are just gorgeous. All of these roses, right? Those are roses. I don't, maybe that's a rose too. I'm not very good with my flower names, but I just think these are super duper cute. Um, okay, so we're gonna stamp just in the corner. We're gonna do this little bouquet of flowers. Okay, check that out. So, and the color, right? Perfect, parakeet party. Super cute. Okay, so we're gonna scoot those out of the way. All right, let's see. Let's do our die cutting of these two things and then we'll put everything together. Okay, move that out of the way. All right, I got the cut and emboss machine. Oh, and I meant to grab a new plate. New plate, new plates. <laughs> totally forgot to do that. 
because yeah, these things are pretty well loved at this point, but they still work. I, I run them until I break them in half, <laughs> which eventually can happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, we got that one there. We're gonna do this one right here. And that one, okay, there we go. All right, cranking the handle. Super simple, sorry, we got a little bit wiggly there. Okay, so there's our little hexagon. Isn't that, I just love that. We haven't had that shape, I think, as part of it, right? And then this one's kind of fun too, you guys can see, right? It's that little kind of swirly bubble, but then it's got a little bit of embossing around there too. So I thought that was very cool. Okay, all right, we're gonna scoot this baby out of the way. We don't need that again. Okay, so very simple card here, although <laughs> maybe I should put my glasses on for this part because now I got it. Oh, and the other thing was I thought let's do the polka dots. Um, I, that's why I flipped them over this way. So we're going to do the polka dots print instead of the plaid print. So I'm going to flip them over because plaid is on the other side, and I'm going to just add some adhesive to the top and the bottom of each of these. Now the, it's funny because I say simple and then I'm like, um, you just have to be a little bit careful with your lining up of things. Okay, I, I think I decided I wanted to do them in the same order. So I'm gonna set myself up for good things here and get them in order right now. Okay, you guys can't even see that, right? I'm trying to do it the same order of colors as I did there, okay. So on our card base, okay, so you're gonna want to try to line up obviously from top to bottom. Now this card, I did put one there and one there. And then what was funny was this one was up a teeny bit higher than that one was. So I did have to take it off. I really did that though, to try to figure out how much room I needed in between things. But now that I kind of have a template there, I think I'm just gonna go for it and hope. And that, so I'm not gonna press too firmly. So if I really mess this up, um, I could take them off and start over. But we want just a little bit of room between each of those. These dots are super cute too, aren't they? Oops. Yeah, so simple, um, but just take a moment to do a good job lining things up. I'm trying to decide if my glasses are helping or hurting. In that case, it looks like they're hurting. <laughs> Maybe I should take them off, we'll see. And you know, I mean, honestly, I think we're all like our own worst critics, right? In terms of, um, is that lined up? Okay, I think that helped me to take my glasses off actually. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna press firmly, put all of those down. Now we are going to, I must have, there's some adhesive. Oh, is it right there? It's like I couldn't even see it, but something was always getting stuck on there. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals behind this little guy. And then I'm going to, you guys know this, right? I'm gonna put one dimensional behind here because this one is already gonna end up on top of that hexagon that has a dimensional. So I'm just gonna add a little adhesive right there, okay? All right, so now we are going to peel these little babies off. And I'm going to put this maybe, let's see, I'm trying to see from where, <laughs> Where did I do it on that card too? Okay, we're gonna put it maybe right about there, right? And then we're gonna peel this little baby off. The dimensional, I did get that off, right? Okay. And then we're gonna put him right there. Now we're gonna tie some twine. This time I used, that was the kind of fun part, was like, oh, what color? Okay, where's the end? <laughs> this may take a moment. Um, is it right there? Yeah. So when I decided, oh my gosh, is it? It looks like it should be. Hmm. This was, um, okay. <laughs> Where's that? Oh, I feel, is that? Okay, they like tucked it under or something. They're not making this very easy. <laughs> okay, I didn't think about this, ladies, that I wasn't going to be able to find the beginning of this. Okay, well, that's how that's going to go. We're just going to cut in right there, and this is where it's going to start. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the starry sky um, twine is what we're using on this one, okay? So we are gonna wrap this. I think I just wrapped it around a couple times and then we're gonna tie 
it in a bow. Need a little bit more. Come on, little buddy. Okay, we're gonna just tie a bow. I'm trying to decide if I have enough um, leeway here on the end or not. That's a really big, okay. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, so we've got that. We're gonna just trim that little baby off right there. Okay, so we're just gonna pop. So I want this to be over top of the other one. So if you just kind of carefully, you can like lift that up and move that. And I could futz for a while with that. You know, when it curls up a little bit, um, probably after I'm done with Facebook Live, I'll have to fix that. But, well, no, you know what? I'm going to do it right now because I want you guys to see. So sometimes they just get curled up. I don't know what it is about the twine. Maybe it's how I'm doing it or something. Um, but we're going to try to tie this again in another little bow. If it doesn't work, I'll fix it later because I'm sure I had to try a couple times on that other card. But that looks pretty good. Hello, Linda. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Okay, so there's our little bit of twine. And then, okay, where are my little, my matte decorative dots? Okay, so I had to add just a little bit of kind of bling to our project. So I put that guy there. And we're going to put, hmm, see if I can get the little, oops, there we go. Once you flip it over on its back, then you can get to the little glue dot. Okay, so let's see, what other color do I want to use? I kind of, um, let's try this one. We're gonna use our sweet sorbet and kind of make that pop right there too. <laughs> so cute, thanks Philomena. I know, I'm loving these colors too. So yes, here is a great example, right? So we've got the Orchid Oasis and Parakeet Party, and then we've got the Plaid Designer Series paper and the Polka Dot Designer Series paper. And you guys will have to let me know. I'm still, this is my favorite. I love the Polka Dots, but I absolutely love that Plaid. So that's my favorite. Oop, and then actually forgot, let's put this on the inside of our card, right? Okay, we're just gonna add this little bit and those sweet little flowers, that little bouquet of flowers goes right there. Okay, so there is project number one, okay? All right, our next project. Let's see, what do we have now? <laughs> okay, so here we go. I used more of those strips of designer series paper because I had a bunch left over. And so I thought another fun way, right? Just kind of layer those and like um, not um, as perfect, right? In terms of symmetry, but just kind of pop them on there and um, angle them around a little bit. And then this time we used some of the metallic ribbon on here as well. This is um, Starry Sky card base. And then that pretty floral, can you guys see the floral? Um, pattern of designer series paper. Okay, so let's see. What did I do? I think I got all of these over. What was I thinking? Okay, now I'm confusing myself. I have all the ribbon and I'm like, oh, I, I was, um, I thought I had it figured out which one I wanted to use, but I think I'm good. So, okay. So this time, imagine that this is a full sheet of, say, sweet sorbet cardstock. Okay, we're gonna make a tall card this time. So along the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we're gonna score it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card base. Then again, on the inside of the card, I'll show you, we're gonna stamp one of our pretty roses in there, okay? So we cut this basic white cardstock to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And again, don't forget all of the colors, products, item codes, dimensions, everything that you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. Then we also have five strips of our designer series paper that all measure one inch by three and three quarter inches, just like the last one. And then we have some um, cardstock. We have... Uh, starry sky cardstock and then basic white cardstock for our stamping and die cutting okay so let's do our stamping again using the same stamp set to the happiness abounds the stamp set sorry we've used that flower on the inside we used this flower 
on the outside and then we use the friend sentiment as well. Okay. And then we also used the same dies too. So we're gonna stamp, this time we're gonna stamp in sweet sorbet ink. You will notice, so when I used the background card base in Starry Sky, I stamped in Scar Starry Sky. So this time, since I used the sweet sorbet card base, I'm gonna stamp my flower and my sentiment in, oops, I don't need that one again, do I? We're gonna do, the sentiment right here, friend in sweet sorbet. Love that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is. That I wish I could write that well. I'm sure that's probably what that is, right? And then we're going to just stamp this rose on the corner. So aren't those beautiful? You get a little bit better idea. You could do some beautiful coloring too, right? And I do know that the dies that coordinate with these stamps also coordinate with the designer series paper. Can't remember what the name of that is to save my life. Um, but so for example, if there are flowers, roses on the designer series paper that look like this, you can cut them out with the dyes too. We'll be playing with that stuff, I'm sure, very shortly. Okay, so this and this and this, we're gonna scoot these things out of the way. I'm gonna grab my cut and emboss machine. So we need to cut three things this time. Okay, so we're gonna pop this guy back in here. All right, so we've got this one and this one and this one. Okay, so from this same set of beautiful shapes dies, we're gonna cut that one there. We're gonna do our circle around that flower and we're gonna do this little label around our friend. And you'll see that is in view, yeah. So we cut off some of the swirl, but it wasn't really affected, I didn't think, right? We just need to get that lined up. And let's scoot this back here a little bit more. And that one, okay, I think we look good. Where's, here we go, my clear plate. Okay, sorry for the wiggle in advance. We'll do this quickly and get our die cutting done, okay. Okay, so check that out. Can you guys see the little swirl on there? Isn't that cute? And then just another basic circle. I'm sure it's not the same size as what we already have in the layering circle dies. And then here's this one. Again, just with, you see that little bit of kind of fun embossing? Not symmetrical either, so it's very crazy. <laughs> All right, sip of water real quick. Mm. All of a sudden I can feel my throat getting dry. All right, let's put this on the inside because I almost forgot that the last time. Okay. Oops. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna put our beautiful rose on the inside. Okay, and now we're gonna, um, you know what? I decided I didn't wanna use the stripey and maybe it's because some of them are going different directions, but we'll use the stripey somewhere else. I wanted to use the flower side again on this one. But just so you get the idea, this is the other, can you guys see? I probably should be a little bit closer, right? This is the other side of the designer series paper. We're gonna use the flowers again, because I thought those were too cute on here. And I thought it needed a little, the pattern. It needed some, needed the full effect of the pattern on this card. And I don't know why I thought it'd be funny if my, I probably did have some with the stripes all going the same way. But, okay, so let's see, do I like? That'll be good. Yep, I was trying to decide if I liked um, how I had my colors going. That one, and then we've got our little bit of red right there. Our parakeet. No, that's parakeet party, that's sweet sorbet, right? Trying to remember. <laughs> Depends on the moment whether I'm good at remembering the colors or not. Okay, so isn't that pretty though? Just that, all those little strips and the floral, pretty. That kind of reminds me of that embossing folder, the flower embossing folder that is retiring. Okay, so let's see. We are going to just add adhesive behind this circle. Okay, and we're gonna just pop this right on there. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals behind these guys. And same thing, I'm gonna put one on that side, yep. 
and then I'm just going to put some adhesive on there because I don't, there's something about that when it's not level, you know, it's like the anal Amy thing. Hey, Susie, how are you? Okay, we're going to put that guy right there and then this little friend right there. Now we are going to, and I'll show you guys, I think I've shown you before, but these are most all of the ribbon. Oh, I know because I've got this other one over here in my Orchid Oasis. So those are all of the, what are these? Whoops. <laughs> the metallic woven ribbons. That's what these are called, right? In all five of our in colors. They're beautiful, aren't they? But I wanted to use the starry sky. Can you guys see playing with all that, right? Okay, so we're gonna tie a starry sky because again, I went with, since this was um, Parakeet Party, I went with the Parakeet Party ribbon. So since this is starry sky, I wanted to use the starry sky ribbon on here also. Okay. So we're gonna just tie this in a bow, just right around our card base. Okay. Do -do -do. Right. So you can see the ribbon is easy to work with, which I appreciate, right? We're gonna snip that off right there. And so if that is not quite in the right place, if you kind of curl that just a little bit so that you don't kind of cut, because sometimes I've done that pulled really hard and you like make a little cut there, but you can just kind of move that over. So that's good there. I feel like I'm missing some comments. I'll have to check back and see what you guys are saying. Um, then what do we need? We need some dots. Okay, so let's get our in color, the matte decorative dots. And what do I want to use? Let's use, this is a really pretty, this Tahitian Tide. We're going to use that blue right there. And then maybe I'm going to use one of the reds. We're going to use, what's that called again? Sweet Sorbet. It's kind of a pinky red, right? If you don't press too hard, you can kind of move that around. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the new in colors, Sharon, and appreciating all of our beautiful new colors. And then let's see, what do I wanna, hmm, <laughs> we're gonna do a green one. Let's do one of our pear key party. We'll do that one right there, make that pop right off of there. Okay, so there we go, our second project with our new in colors. That looks crazy, doesn't it, right? I think one is enough. You put two together and that like is kind of making your eyes buggy, isn't it? Okay, so we'll do our quick recap as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live. Want to make sure you guys know the drill here, right? So that's like popping up. I got to, there we go. We'll do that like that. Okay, so if you put an online order in of at least $30. You're going to get one of each of these projects as a thank you automatically from me for putting an order in through me. Just make sure you use this host code right here. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win this awesome new. Oh, we should hold on. We got to fan this out again, don't we? Because uh, I, I, well, I did a pretty good job. It was kind of backwards, wasn't it? But you guys get the idea, right? There, oh, I love, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play with this paper now, you guys. Okay, so your name goes in the drawing to win that T Boutique Designer Series paper with at least a $30 order. If you bump your order up to $50, where is everything? You get to pick from, I should keep these things over here. I moved them off my table. You get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Iridescent Rhinestones as my thank you for your order over $50. So thank you guys so much for watching Philomena. <laughs> she says, nice job. Thank you, Amy. I, I take that um, especially to heart this week since we didn't have any glitches or issues. Um, I guess I was taking that for granted for a little while there, but I won't anymore. So super appreciative that we were able to not be sideways and just start off and have some fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these new in colors. Um, again, don't forget if you want to sign up for the class to go, the Hey Sports Fan class to go. Today is the last day if you want to sign up for the in color club. I'll have the links for all those things above this Facebook Live video right after we get it uploaded in just a few moments. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget you can order from the new annual catalog next Tuesday. I could go on and on and on, but I'm going to stop now. Thanks guys. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend.